What to do, YouTube? So the Dallas Cowboys have given permission to right tackle Leo Collins to seek a trade destination. To go back, let's go ahead and go back down memory lane. So you remember back in 2015, even though 2015 was a long time ago, almost 10 years now, when Leo Collins was under investigation for the murder situation when he was back in LSU. And then when he got cleared, um, the Miami Dolphins sent some former LSU players down to recruit him to be a Miami Dolphin. Off the top of my head, I can only think of Jarvis Landry and Kelvin Shepard. Kelvin Shepard, Jarvis Landry, and Mike Pouncey were sent down there to recruit him. And at the time, we offensive line wasn't look was looking a little look a little shaky. We just got finished drafting Jawan James uh the year the year prior to that, and us adding a Leo Collins would have been perfect. Unfortunately, the Dallas Cowboys ended up swooping them, taking them away from the Bobby Dolphins, and the rest is history. So we fast forward to now. When we look at a Leo Collins, who from 2000, 2015 to now has only played 21 games out of 33 games uh, and missed games due to injury or suspension. This past year, uh, he got suspended five games for violating the NFL substance abuse policy. Now, as far as the Dallas Cowboys are concerned, as far as the cap, um, if they decided to make a trade for him or cut him, um, they would save $1.5 million in cap space, but also they would occur over $14 million in, in dead money. Now, if they decided to cut him or trade him after the June 1st deadline, I believe they would save, I believe, what, $10 million or something like that. But when we look at the Miami Dolphins, and the Miami in their current offensive line situation, like we are clearly, clearly in the market to grabbing an offensive lineman. So why not go ahead and just grant the inevitable and just go ahead and just pull the trigger on a trade for a Leo Collins? Because we saw the we saw the reports for the asking price for a Ter Teron Armstead. Um, we looking at what a, a four year ninety over ninety million dollar deal possibly for a Teron Armstead. Um, at the end of the day, what people fail to understand when it comes down to free agency, free agency, when you're free, you go up to the highest bidder. So teams could go out on a bidding war, like a house, be on a bidding war for what, what they possibly think a player is worth and whoever is the highest bidder, it ends up going, going to that particular team. But this situation with Leo Collins, we can get him for what, 10 million, paying him 10 million. And then we can we can reevaluate the situation after the two thousand after the two thousand twenty three season, and if we want to go ahead and move move forward with him or not. But that that is definitely something that that should definitely be discussed because of the fact that I Leo Collins is is a pretty is a pretty good versatile offensive lineman. Can play tackle, can play guard, and like I said, the Dolphins are a need at multiple positions like there's no nobody nobody is safe on this offensive line as far as where they're going to be playing during the 2023 season but let me know what you guys think uh you know what it is if you enjoy the content please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button this is great one devore i'm up out of here